Hi folks, this is all the fruit and this time for a change I want to show you a commercially incredibly important fruit which you cannot eat or can you? Well, you know that I'm mostly interested in the edible fruit so let's look at this cotton plant. Well, either I have become very small or this plant has become very tall. Look at that, this cotton shrub. It's maybe f almost four meters tall and five to six meters in diameter. Well, this is not Cosupium herbaceum, the normal cotton which is being grown commercially on a large scale. This is Cosupium arboreum. Herba means herb. So Cosupium herbaceum is the herbaceous Cosupium, the herbaceous cotton. But Cosupium arboreum, arbor means tree, is the tree cotton. That's why this cotton tree or cotton shrub is so big. Well, here you see the flowers. They are beautiful yellow color. For some reason they are all half closed now. Once they are pollinated, they turn a reddish, brownish, pinkish color, which is also very nice. And here we have some buds. Those are like sepals or bracts or I don't know what exactly yeah, actually wait let's check this again ah okay so I guess the stuff that fell off those are the petals then maybe this stuff here are bracts no maybe this stuff here are the sepals and those would be the bracts maybe I should have researched that well, and then let's check out the fruit. Well, here I got two fruit. Enclosed in a thick brown shell is a cotton ball with some seeds inside. The cotton, well, it's just like if you would eat a normal cotton ball, which you use for cosmetic purposes or taste-wise more or less if you start chewing at your t-shirt and this is like a t-shirt which has been worn a couple hours it's salty because we are here at the coast of the Atlantic so the very similar Cosipium herbaceum is the commercially grown cotton and this is what your t-shirts and jeans and linen and so on are made from very few linen are made of linen nowadays they're pretty much all made of cotton. And what do you get when you take all those cotton balls? Well, you end up with the seeds. And since cotton is a very important crop, it's one of the most important fibers worldwide, you end up with many thousands of tons of those seeds. So clever people start thinking what to do with them. They extract oils, they use them as fertilizer, they use them for cosmetics like everything. They use them to feed chickens and cows and pigs. And when I was in America, in the United States, I couldn't believe my eyes. But when I read the ingredients on my bread, there were tons and tons of ingredients. And there were a couple percent of cotton seeds. So actually you can eat cotton seeds. I wouldn't recommend you to eat them out of hand. They are supposed to be bitter, at least there are sources which say they are bitter. But at least the Americans mix them into their bread. America must be starving. I guess they are running out of grains. Yeah, let's try one of the seeds. Well, at least they are not too small. There is a lot of substance inside and like most seeds and I guess they will be pretty fatty and starchy and protein rich also you don't need to cultivate them specifically you cultivate them for the fibers you extract the fibers and you end up with ready piles and piles and piles of seeds tons and tons of seeds thousands and thousands of tons of seeds and so of course people figured out how to um, mix them into other into other um, grains and seeds and make them edible. 
I'm not sure I read somewhere that humans actually cannot process uh, the cotton seed, so maybe it's just some filling material which just makes the bread be heavier, but it's not really useful for human consumption. Well, I don't know, people eat a lot, so if 10% of the bread is just ballast, that's not the worst thing that can happen to you. But, yeah, folks, you see, when you research enough, you find out that even the craziest stuff is edible. And if you end up with thousands upon thousands of tons of some fruit or seed or nut, yeah, you make it useful somehow. So, folks, this was Cosupium arboreum, the cotton tree or tree cotton with its beautiful flowers, with its cotton balls for fruit and with its kind of edibleish seeds. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the parks and gardens of Tenerife. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.